third quarter set to go. This quarter brought to you by Fellowship of Christian Athletes Lacrosse. FCA Lacrosse is committed to developing three-dimensional athletes and coaches who want to fulfill their God-given potential mentally, physically, and spiritually. For more information on FCA summer teams, camps, or other ways to get involved, check out fcalax.com. A lengthy opening faceoff to the second half here. Ball goes out of bounds. Jake Mathai will set it in for the Greyhounds. Gilman in their road blues. Loyola home whites. I'm Booker Corrigan joined by inside lacrosse writer Ty Zanders. Thanks for making CUDA.com and the Royal Farms Game of the Week part of your sports viewing day. And that's a flag. They had a couple in the first half that looked like they could have been. That clearly was. If you missed that, you Royal probably should be ready to out there. Foul. Gilman is extra man for up to one minute. And you can see referee Carmen D. John Domenico look at Macy O. Parker and say, I got, I'll call, I got this one. I'm going to take this one for you. Of course, your officials for today's game, Richard Montgomery McGee, along with the great Carmen D. John Domenico and Macy O. Parker. Awesome group. I know we uh, talked before the game, sort of plan to meet up at Royal Farms afterward, grab a few pieces of chicken, maybe a Slurpee. You gotta love the Gilman man up. 11.20 to go third quarter, and they need one now. Shot fake, inside feed to Smith goes wide. It's a timely Time check. Timely check. And I think you're about to say the same thing. You know, that was, uh, that was definitely big. You know, when you're within, uh, when you're that close to the goal, you're probably going to score. Let's and check a there. veteran like Riley DeSmith, guy who has that poise and presence. Gordy Kerber, Zeke Morrill, great save, Thomas. Gobbled that up, tracked it extremely well. Matty Dunn open in the middle of the field. Hit by Mathai, but able to maintain possession momentarily. And now it's going to be Mathai coming up with it. Ball still on the ground. And that's off Loyola. Looked to me like it was off Loyola. And I'd hesitate to jump in on those calls. It's funny to see both sides, both coaching staff, sort of put their arm up in the opposite direction. Oh, and we get a reversal. Interesting to see if our cameraman was able to to get that joint today by Matty Cruz of Dual Cam Productions. Dual Cam Productions, an amazing organization who will get your event of any kind memorialized forever. Dual Cam Productions. Make sure to follow on Twitter, dual, at Dual Cam 2. They have a lot of highlights and the full game tapes. Just great partners with uh, Cooter.com. Ryan Conrad, a swim move at the midline coming off the penalty has expired. And Conrad driving straight at the cage. Now it's Deemer class. It's gonna be Gilman ball on the far side. But back to that mention of dual camp productions. I'm curious to see if we could see what stick that ball went off of. Looked to me like it was off of a white stick, but it doesn't matter what I think. Great clearing play. Haas gets it up to Jake Mathai. Mathai really yet to leave the field here in the third quarter. Coach Brooks Matthews does a great job as well. We talked about Jack Crawford in the first half. Coach Matt Brooks Matthews has a couple titles under his belt as well. Max Green, step shot, what a save. Insane save by Chris Thomas. Shot by Green, a bouncer. You know what they say about that save, Ty? 10% luck, 20% skill, 15% concentrated power of will. Booker, you're missing <laughs> a, a few more percentages there, but it's okay. I know you went to run oak. 5% pleasure, 20% pain, 100% reason to remember the name. Maybe I'll stop calling him Phillips. Ground ball in the middle of the field. 
corralled successfully by the Greyhounds. And they look to push it forward. The Kerber rolling back, comes out lefty and gets it up top. This is McCarthy. McCarthy and Will McBride in at midfield with Jake Mathai. This Gilman offense needs to fish or cut bait. Split dodge by Mathai. Ball pops out at a nice ground ball and a flag flies. And Gilman's gonna go on the man down. I might notch that one up to fatigue. I feel like Jake's been out there for a while. Gilman penalty, pushing it. It's a technical foul. Loyola's extra man for up to 30 seconds. This man up brought to you by The Power Shaft. Check out thepowershaft.com to learn how you can get your hands on the best lacrosse training device there is, The Power Shaft. Let's see which team got their motive pure at halftime. Loyola man up. Great save, Brian Moore. They need more of that out of him. Neubauer, ground ball near side. It's only a 30 second foul. That will just about do it for it. A great ground ball, Robbie Haas. So much high level D1 talent on this field today. And the penalty expires. They get it down the field to Mathai. Great catch under heavy duress. Shot goal. And credit Peter Brown. Great left hand finish. Nice pass by Mathai. And we did talk earlier about, uh, you know, those D middies not getting those shots. And, and I'm pretty sure goal, scored, by number so. 15, Peter Brown, assisted by number 22, Jake Mathai. Peter Brown on the goal, Jake Mathai the assist. Six to two now, your score, 7.33 to go third quarter. Third quarter brought to you by FCA Lacrosse. Fellowship of Christian Athletes Lacrosse is committed to developing three-dimensional athletes and coaches. Neubauer pulls it out. FCA Lacrosse developing three-dimensional athletes and coaches who want to fulfill their God-given potential, mentally, physically, or spiritually. For more information on FCA summer teams, camps, or other ways to get involved, check out fcalax.com. Alec Hardwick, top, gets it over to Dissler. Dissler quickly to McNamara. McNamara driving against Will McBride now. Shot, another save by Moore. And you see Brian Moore heating up. Great clearing pass to Michael Knudsen. Ball goes onto the turf, and we're gonna get a moving pick call. <laughs> Unfortunate turn of events right there for the Greyhounds. Hardwick takes Knudsen behind the cage. Comes out righty, Dissler shot, save more, and he's got Timmy Jenkins breaking. Jenkins gets Dissler to dive at him. Kerber shot just wide. He can sling it. Kerber will take his talents to Denver next year, following the footsteps of uh, Paul Danko, who graduated from Gilman in 2010. Is a uh, key contributor for the Pioneers up there. And he's a guy who's been the Under Armour All-American underclassman, player of the game before. And if Gilman's gonna come back and mount a charge here, they're gonna need Kerber to play to that level again. That same, Under Armour. Same with Mathai too. I think Mathai needs some more production. Same with uh, the rest of their midfield and they'll be, uh, they'll be golden. Riley DeSmith gets it up top. Shot blocked on its way to the cage. Still a shot if Trusty runs it out. He does, it's gonna be Gilman Ball. Nice play by TJ Trusty. Evidence of great coaching. You know Coach Owen Daly over there at Gilman. Some great assistant coaches on these staffs as well. Joe McFadden, one of the assistant coaches for the Loyola Dons. 
and Brown with a little shake and bake there at the midline. Kerber gets it behind to Morrill. Morrill defended by Clothier. Clothier, one of those defenders who doesn't jump off the page at you, but yet does his job. Plays great position defense. Does everything you ask him to. Harrison McCarthy carries up top. Now it spins behind. Ball just jumps out of the stick at Gordy Kerber. You don't see that happen often. And that's just a hustle ground ball there by Bennett Bradley, one of those team idiots we mentioned earlier. Bennett Bradley from his keister. And now it's Thomas. Ball into the stick of Casey Capinos. Don't see it jumping out of his stick. Deemer Class gets it to Conrad. 4 12 remaining, third quarter. 6 to 2 year score. TJ Neubauer now, right hand sweep. Pulls it out to slow things down. And now Conrad going against the other Brown. High feed's gonna make it to the end line and credit the Gilman defense with great position and a cause turnover. Just some steady improvement in the third quarter for Gilman. Loyola not playing their game, still getting some nice saves from Thomas, but uh, you know, not playing at the pace they were in the first half. And some nice saves by Brian Moore also. Yeah, yeah. When a guy like him gets hot, then that's uh, that's really huge for that momentum. See it sort of carry over to the offense sometimes. Behind the cage now with Kerber. Kerber moves it quickly, and they balance it up with Andrew Gemma. Gemma wants his right hand. And Kerber moves it quickly to Green. Green to a ready to sling it. Riley to Smith, but gets it to Sims. Nice little shake and bake move by Kerber, but the ball pinballs around before it's corralled by Thomas. And they got Deemer class streaking out of the box. Class left hand feed. Dawson makes the catch, but can't make the cradle. There's a moving pick they missed. And the Dons maintain possession. 220 remaining third quarter. Booker Corgan and Ty Zanders here with the call with the CUDA.com and Royal Farms game of the week. Make Royal Farms your first stop before and after every game for everything from custom built subs and wraps, healthy snacks. Drinks, fresh brewed coffee, Western fries, and of course, Royal Farms, delicious, world famous, fresh, never frozen chicken, Royal Farms, real fresh, real fat. Deemer Class drives down right handed, spins it back to Neubauer. Not so much a swim move as it was a hop move. Conrad being defended by Devin Tucker. Tucker all over him like a spider monkey. Inside feed, great feed by Neubauer. Nice handle on the inside, but no dice on the shot. Minute and 30 seconds left, third quarter. Devin McNamara just sets the pace for the Dons. Couple goals early. Class shot goal. Loyola calls from number 22, Deemer Class, assisted by number four, Devin McNamara. Deemer Class with the goal, Devin McNamara, the assist. And Class will make you pay if you don't put enough, put those heavy stick checks on him when he's shooting. He's so dangerous from the left hand or the right hand. Great feeder, just uh, so dangerous when he's taking those shots from the outside. And I almost feel like that was just a very well-placed shot. Yeah and perhaps caught Brian Moore stepping. 
And a quick faceoff win by O'Toole. O'Toole inside feed, goal. Alec Dossus. And that's the kind of run that a great faceoff guy will get you. Credit Kevin O'Toole with a speedy faceoff. Well, goal goes from number seven, Alec Dossus. Assisted by number 19, Kevin O'Toole. Alec Dossus with the goal, Kevin O'Toole the assist. Motive Pure Hydration Formula. Go to MotivePure.com to learn how you can be at your best when your team needs you the most. Motive Pure reinventing rehydration. This time O'Toole spins it out to the outside. Disler possesses. And the Dons rolling heavy. 10 to 2 now the score. Correct. It'd be 8 to 8 2. To right two. Now. Sorry, there's some Don's, lights. Don's got a sort yeah. of. I didn't think it was 10. Get a new scoreboard. Just a new light. That middle light's burnt. It looks like it's 2 0. It's not. It know it In the past minute. Shot by Disler. Whistles wide. Backed up by Dalton. As we roll down to the 32nd mark remaining third quarter. Third quarter brought to you by FCALAX.com. FCALAX.com. Clay slid to by Devin Tucker. And now it's Hardwick as we get to the 10 second mark. Hardwick going against Cotter Brown, inside feed, fadeaway shot, almost corralled by Dossus on the inside, and that'll do it for the third quarter. Reminding you, that is the end of the third quarter with the score: Loyola, uh, Loyola eight, Gilman two. Make Royal Farms your first stop before and after every game for everything from custom-built subs and wraps, healthy snacks, drinks, fresh brewed coffee, Western fries, and of course, Royal Farms world famous fresh never frozen chicken rural farms real fresh real fast we also want to thank the people at motive pure hydration formula motive pure is the best hydration solution of its kind go to motivepure.com to learn more and order yourself some i have a big jug in my fridge i also have the little bottles that i can take with me anywhere i go you just mix it with water and your body gets everything it needs when it needs it motivepure.com